the problem now that we are going to solve involves the input table as student info this table has the columns seat id and student name which informs that on which seat the user is allocated which seat is allocated to the user so that information is present in the input so as part of the output we need to exchange the seats of the adjacent students so for example on seat number 1 and 2 is allocated to parvati and rajesh respectively so we have to swap the seats so now on seat 1 rajesh will go and on seat 2 parvati will be allocated so this is what has happened the seat has been exchanged similarly on seat number 3 and 4 it has been exchanged between aryan and supriya and finally for the last uh, entry prakash is not having any partner here with whom he can swap the seats so his seat will not be changed so this is the output that we are looking for so let's approach the problem and solve it so what we will do is we will operate on this input table that is student info okay so next what we will do is for every entry let's find who is the student seated on next seat id and who is the student seated on a previous seat id so for example if you are looking for this user we want to find out who is seated on seat number 4 that is one seat ahead and who is seated on seat number 2 that is one seat back so for that what we will do is we will use the window functions lead and lag okay so we already have this input column seat id and student name now we will use the lag function to find out who is the student who is seated on one seat id back okay so in the window we will order it by the seat id column so this will be give, give us the previous student name let's call it who is sitting on the one seat id back and similarly we will find the student who is sitting on the one seat id ahead so for that we will use the lead function and this will be the this will give us the next student name the who is sitting on the one seat id ahead okay so let's run this and see the output okay so this is the data that now we have for every entry we have determined who is the student for example seat id 3 who is the student on previous seat that is seat id 2 it is rajesh and similarly who is the student on one seat id ahead that is seat id 4 so it is supriya so this we have determined now one thing to note is like for example this user so for this user we are not having any information of the next student so in such scenarios we have to populate the same student because he is not having any partner so ideally uh, we will be using the same username like in this case uh we don't want to exchange the seats between any of the user as there is no other partner present so for that what we can do is in the lead function this is as good as saying we want to find out the next seat id so it is like one level ahead so we can give it like this also even this will result the result in same output now what we will do is we will mention here the same student name what this will do is it will replace this null okay so whenever we cannot find any uh, value for the lead like whenever it is null as there is no other entry present so in that case it will use the same column student name same records student name okay so let's run this and see the output so this is the change that it has done this change has replaced the last entry null with this default value okay this student name value so now once we have this information the solution is straight forward what we need to do now for every odd that is seat id we have to find out the next student id okay so for example for seat 3 it will the seat will be allocated to the next student who is present on the next seat id and similarly for every even seat id 
we have to allocate the student who is on previous seat which will be rn okay so this way using this approach the next id approach for the odd number and previous id approach for even number records we will find the solution so what we will do is let's put it in a cte whatever data that we have generated now let's call it as seat cte okay now we will operate on this seat cte data and find out the final solution okay. so we are operating on this last whatever data that we have generated so now what we will do is seat id is same we have to just find the student name so we will use a case condition so we will check if the seat id is it a even seat id okay so for the even seat id like for example here for the even seat id we have to find the previous student so we will in case of even seat id we will fetch the data from the previous student name column so then it will be previous student name otherwise if seat id is odd then we have to get the next student name so that we can get from here so for example this case we can get the next student name from here so we'll use the next student name column and this will give us the student name that we are looking for okay so let's run this and uh, see the output okay so this is the output that we are looking for for two adjacent seats the seat has now been reversed okay as we see for seat 1 2 and 3 4 as well it is reversed and for seat 5 it has not it is the same allocation it has not been changed as there is no adjacent entry that is present and this is the query that uh, we have written so to solve this problem we have simply determined the student who is present on a previous seat using the lag function like one seat id back and similarly using the lead function we have found out the student name who is one seat ahead and in case we are not having any entry like if it is the last entry and there is no adjacent uh, record that is present in that case we will use the same student name as the next next student name okay so after that this is this is used to handle the scenario wherein there is no adjacent record present and the seat allocation is not changed of the student okay so this way we are doing this uh, previous student name and next student name uh, column generation after that we have to simply check if the seat is even so if the seat is even assign the previous student uh, previous student name to it and if seat is odd we have to assign the next student name okay so this way we have solved the problem so we will be adding the create table and insert statement in the description please go through it if you have any alternate solution please post in the comments and please share this video with your friends if you found this video useful please like it and if you have not yet subscribed the channel please subscribe it thank you